Good afternoon. Hi. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, good afternoon. I'm Lilia Haba. I'm 35 years old. Major in Business and So you have children. Who will take care of them when you go abroad to work? My husband and, husband. Uh, and my mother. And your mother, okay. So did you ask permission to your husband and your mother that you will work abroad as a domestic helper? Yes, sir. Okay, so what did they say? What, sir? What did your husband and your mother told you about your application? Is it okay to it's them? It's okay to them, huh? Okay, so will you miss your family, especially your children, when you go abroad to work? Yes, sir. So what will you do if you miss your family? I will work hard so that I can't miss him. So that I I, I, I can't miss him to, to work. You will just convert your feelings by working hard. I'm working hard. Okay, so you said that you've been taking care of elderly, right? For yes, two sir. Years. Why only for two years? But, sir. Why only for two years? Because um, this is that. She's already dead. She's already dead. Okay, can you tell me how did you take care of an elderly person? I am the one to take a bath, um, to take care of food, and take medicines. <laughs> okay, so if your employer has an elderly, are you willing to take care of them also? Yes, sir. Okay, and you have a babysitter experience for two years? For two years, sir. How, how old is the baby? The one that you took care of? Four years old. Four years old. And then you're the one who take care of him. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, how did you take care of him? I will, I will take a bath, I'm taking their foods, I'm, I'm, I will teach them how to, to, to write and speak. Okay, so if your employer has children, so you're willing to take care of some of them? Yes, sir. Okay, so then one year as a housemaid? Yes, sir. Why only for one year? Because I quit, sir. You quit because of what? Of taking care of my children. You're, you need to take care of your children, okay. Okay, so what is your responsibility in their, in their, in their house? In the morning, I will cook the breakfast, and then cleaning um, all the house. Uh -huh. And then, when I finish, I wash, wash, wash clothes, and then lunch, and I, I cook for lunch, and then cleaning, cleaning, then then cook. I will cook it. Young breakfast and lunch and dinner. Okay, so uh, how about taking care of elderly? Do you have any experience taking care of elderly or sick person? Yes, sir. Where did you experience it? In my, in my, my first work, sir, I Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, what is her illness? She is. She is stroke. She has stroke, sir. Okay. Uh, so if your employer has it like that, it's okay for you to take care of them. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you willing to wait for two to three months for the same period? Yes, sir. And are you very sure you want to make this application as a domestic helper in Malaysia? Yes, sir. Are you willing to clean a big house? Yes, sir. Okay. Even though you're alone. Yes, sir. How about if you have another housemate? It's okay for you? Yes, sir. Working in a long-distance communication with your family? Okay, sir. It's okay. So what do you want to work as a domestic 
job or another job? I will work for financially. Financial. For what? For who? For my family and my children. And uh, why did you choose Malaysia? Because Malaysia is open country. Okay. So, for example, if I am in Florida and I'm going to choose one housemate, how can you convince me to hire you as my domestic helper? What, sir? If I am an employer and I'm going to choose one helper, how can you convince me to hire you? If I choose you as a domestic helper, as a domestic helper to you, I will try. I will work hard for for your to please you and. For two years. Okay, so what can you promise to your employer? I promise to work, to work hard and to, to please them. Okay. So, do I, okay, so I think Leia, thank you and that's all. Thank you and see you in Malaysia soon. Thank you, sir. Okay.